In a reef archipelago 50 miles south of Cuba, there's a protected marine park called the Gardens of the Queen. It was named by Christopher Columbus for Isabella, the Queen of Spain, and it's one of the healthiest reef ecosystems we have left on our planet. It's also home to Caribbean reef sharks and silky sharks. It's common to see a shark partnered with a remora. The remora cleans the shark by eating parasites attached to its body. They feed primarily on cephalopods, bony fish, and stingrays. These sharks generally avoid or ignore divers, though I did have a few surprising moments of contact with these majestic swimmers. They have only one color-sensing cone in their eyes, but bright contrast attracts them underwater. In the 70s, this gave rise to a color of scuba diving gear called Yum Yum Yellow, and I happened to be wearing a lot of it. Silky sharks are a metallic golden brown and have skin covered in dermal denticles. Dermal denticles. Dermal denticles. These tiny diamond-shaped scales have been shown to create tiny vortices which reduce drag and noise in the water. They range for hundreds of miles along the boundaries between the shallow reef and plummeting drop-offs into the deep sea. These sharks are most common in shallower water, above 100 feet, but they have been known to dive as deep as 1,500 feet. Wouldn't that be a sight from a submarine? And I'm eating at the beat like it gave a little speed to a great white shark on shark. We rock, time to go up, a girl, deuces, goodbye. I got a world to see, and my girl, she wanna see wrong.